recently had a friend reach out to me about designing a logo for his new hardcore band, and I thought I'd try something a little different here uh, using Blender um, and some fun plugins in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, so for th first thing we're doing is uh, creating the text in uh, Blender, and uh, you want to use something pretty big and bold for this, so I'm using Bayboss New. Uh, I'm going to extrude this, give it a little bit of depth, and tilt it towards the camera to give it some perspective. Um, just scaling it up to get it in the center frame um, and converting it to a mesh so we can tweak it a little bit. Uh, they didn't want the I've part of the logo to be as pronounced, so I'm scaling that down uh, and adjusting everything and recentering it. Uh, next thing I'm doing to add a grunge effect is putting a displacement modifier on here. Um, and this will give it some kind of distortion that'd be really hard to do by hand. Um, so you want to tweak your midpoints and the levels of that uh, to get it to a good a point. Good point. Uh, now I'm adding a, doing a quick test render and adding a freestyle line stroke to it just to give it a little bit more texture and depth to the logo. Um, now I'll go ahead and render it out, save it as an image. And after that is done, you want to import it into Adobe Illustrator and use the image trace function. Uh, I'm doing shades of gray. Um, lowering that to about three shades of gray, just so it's not as complex and have as many colors in it. Uh, you want to go ahead and expand that, delete your black background, and make a copy of what the result is. You're going to use that later after we do some, some tweaks to it. Uh, so go ahead and select your text, and we're going to be using the uh, plugin called Phantasm to generate a halftone from the grays. And the nice thing about this is once you generate the halftones, you can kind of go back and tweak them if you're not happy with uh, what, what you've, you've done uh, since it's just a plugin. Um, so I wasn't too happy with the, how big they were, so I changed the DPI of them uh, to get it a little bit more uh, tight. And repasted that text, converted it to black, and created a transparency mask to mask out kind of the ugly edges. Um, now you can expand that and you have those halftones um, that you can tweak colors and all that. Uh, so repasting the text here um, in black and adding the uh, halftones on top of it in white to give it some distressed uh, looks. Uh, adding a black background and changing the text to white. I'm doing one without the halftones here. And I'm going to duplicate one more uh, with a black background and white, and going to change those halftones into uh, black to give it that distressed look. Um, so there you go. Um, relatively simple way of uh, creating some really interesting distressed textures that aren't just your standard, hey, download this font, it looks really distressed and cool and whatever. But I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see me uh, do anything else like this. Um, thanks for watching.